super dog. How are we going to stop Princess Hayward? She keeps eating my chips and my fish fingers, and I'm getting stopped by Super Dog. I know what we'll do. Let's whack her with a stick until she promises to stop eating your chips and fish fingers. No, that's not evil enough. I want something worse. <laughs> Well, Mr. Evil, your highness, your evilness, sir, I have a twin brother who has invented a time machine. He can send us back in time so we can stop Princess Hayward's dad. Then he would never have had children. Yes, that's a really evil idea. Mr. Evil Villain called the twin brother of his minion. Hello, this is Mr. Evil here. Are you my minion's twin brother? Speaking, how can I be a service today? I hear you have a time machine. Can I borrow it to go back in time? Yeehaw, you sure can, bard. Mr. Evil got into the time machine. They're changing guard of Buckingham Palace. Curse of a Robin went down with Alice. Alice is marrying one of the guard of soldiers. Life is terrible hard, says Alice. They're changing guard of Buckingham Palace. Curse of a Robin went down with Alice. I we saw the guard in a sentry jacket. box. One of the sergeants will stop their socks. Says Alice. They're changing guard of Buckingham Palace. Christopher Robin went down with Alice. I think I'm having a heart attack here. Hey guys, get off, 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 Face the count, but it wasn't a queen. She's much too busy assigning things. Says Alice. They're changing our. Excuse me. Have you seen Princess Hayward's dad? I don't know who that is. Sorry. What Mr. Evil didn't know is that Shane had been sent from the future to look after Princess Hayward's dad. Whenever you saw him, he was always there, protecting Princess Hayward's dad. He was told that in the future, there would be someone who was asking for Princess Hayward. If that happened, all he had to do was bark and Superdog would come. Super Dog didn't know how to travel back in time. She thought about it and decided to see Princess Hayward. Princess Hayward knew exactly what to do. She had a special time travel dance that she could perform to send Super Dog back in time. Let's play, let's play, let's play, let's play, let's play, let's play, let's play. Let's play, I'm a talking house. Let's play, let's play, let's play, let's play. Butterflies around my garden, butterflies around my garden, flap, flap. Flowers on my roof, do, 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 do.
it had worked, Superdog recognised the little, little fellow next to him as Princess Hayward's father, David. She didn't know the dog next to him. The dog explained that his name was Shane and he was sent to look after David and that one day he would have to call for Superdog and that's what he'd done. He explained that there was someone looking a bit dodgy asking for Princess Hayward. Superdog had to find this person and protect Princess Hayward, future, present and past. Meanwhile, in the future, Mr Evil's minion thought that Mr Evil would be too daft to find Princess Hayward's dad by himself. He decided to go back in time and find him and help him. Mr. Evil, this uh, Princess Hayward hasn't been born yet, so they'd know, know her name. You need to look for someone called David Hayward. That's David Hayward. Doll, oh, I didn't think about that. Hello, hello? Is this thing working? Hi everyone, my name's Mr. Evil. And I'm looking for a David Mr. Evil heard a voice from the corner of the room. Over here. I know where David Haywood is. I can give you his address if you want me to. Mr. Evil got the address and headed off to find David Haywood. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, David Hayward. You don't know me, but my name's Mr. Evil. Very pleased to meet you. Shane stood in front of David and barked at Mr. Evil. David ran into the house because he knew not to talk to strangers. David, where are you? Oh no, it's Superdog. You cannot stop me. I'm wearing special heatproof clothes. Superdog used her super bark. No, 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 no. no, I'll get you next time, Superdog. Shane thanked Superdog for protecting his master David from that awful Mr. Evil. Superdog told Shane that if he ever needed her again, all he had to do is bark. Thank you, said Shane.
that unseated stuff You just don't think I'm good enough 